Hello everyone, my name is Renu Dalal and I'm the daughter of the late Tarla Dalal. I've written three cookbooks, Modern Vegetarian Recipes, Simple and Delicious Vegetarian Recipes and Recipes from My Heart. Cooking is in my passion and DNA. I love to create something new. And this is my first book, Modern Vegetarian Recipes. The salad recipes mentioned here, layered Mexican salad. And we're going to make it now. Here we have olive oil, we have salt, we have pepper and we have grated cabbage. We're going to mix them together. salt adding pepper to taste and we're going to mix it so first layer is all ready now on to layer 2 so here we're going to heat some olive oil add some onions we're going to saute it here we are adding the baked beans, this is a tin of baked beans, that's the second layer. So we're just going to flavor the uh, baked beans now. Here we are adding some salt to taste. And we're going to add some ketchup. So the second layer is all ready now. It's all sorted and ready, the, the baked beans. Here we are to layer 3 now with tomato salsa. You can deep freeze and prepare it in advance. It's in the basic recipes of my first book. And it has multiple uses. You can use it as a dip and, and various other uses. Here we are going to use it today. On to layer 4, we have sour cream. What have we used for that? We've used curds, we've used salt and we've used coriander. We've chosen not to use cream but you can put cream also if you want. And it does make us fab layer. All you have to do is mix these ingredients together and your fourth layer is ready. Here we put the curds in a bowl. We go and add the salt to taste. Chop coriander. And here we just mix it with a wire whisk. Here we are on to layer five. What do we have? We have chopped lettuce, iceberg lettuce. We have some olive oil. We're going to mix the olive oil. We're going to add some salt and pepper to taste. Just mix it well. And we have layer 5 already. Remember, every layer is flavored. Here we have layer 6 avocado guacamole. Here we have a ripe avocado. Remember, we're peeling the avocado in restaurants. They do it in front of you. Remember, make it there and then because you retain the color. Here it is all made. We're going to peel it and we're going to deseed it. Here is all chopped and ready. Now we have the other ingredients which we're going to add. We have tomatoes, we have curds, we have olive oil, we have salt, we have green chili and we have crushed garlic. Here we're going to mix them all together. We're adding, so we're adding the yogurt now. The curds. Here we're adding the tomatoes, the chopped tomatoes. We're adding some olive oil here. We're adding some salt. We're adding some chopped garlic. And we're adding green chilies. Remember, mix them all together well. And here the guacamole is all ready. It's all fresh and ready. All the ingredients are ready. Now we're just going to mix it with a wire whisk. And here it is all mixed. Here it is all ready now. It's better use it all fresh and directly. So remember, mix it well and it's ready to use. Here we have layer 7 which is grated cheese. This is layer 8 which is nacho chips. Now all your layers are ready and we'll soon be assembling the salad. Here we're going to layer the Mexican salad. We're putting the first layer, which is the cabbage, at the bottom of the bowl. Here the first layer is done. Now we're going to add the baked beans. That is the second layer. All the colors look so fabulous. Here it is. With the spoon, just even out the layers. Here we even out the second layer. And now we're going to add tomato salsa, which is the third layer. 
again please even out with the spoon make it look even everywhere now we're going to cover with this with sour cream here the sour cream is being put on top here we'll be layering it with the spoon even it out proportionately now we're going to put the chopped lettuce on top here it is that is the fifth layer on top of that now we're going to do sixth layer which is avocado the guacamole that's the sixth layer is going to be put on top spread it evenly and then after this you have the grated cheese sprinkle it on top put the layer of cheese all over remember when you are making this salad you can always refrigerate this and you put the nacho chips at the end just before you serve you refrigerate it and let it cool in the fridge and now it's all ready actually all the salad will see how pretty they look all the layers are looking so lovely and just before serving you're supposed to add the nacho chips and do make it it is really amazing and let us know how you like it all the layers have to be flavored now we're going to put some nacho chips on top you know just before serving put the nacho chips it does taste amazing and do make it and let us know how you like it